that was professionally done, wasn't it? Hello, viewer. Um, as you probably know, if anybody's watched my videos recently, I've tried to keep uh, away from all things Evansy uh, uh, after the whole Prosigate uh, affair, affairs, affairs. Um, purely because uh, it, it, we've got just down the road of speculation, really, and and I think I just thought I said I'd just leave it there. However. <laughs> For those of you, I, I haven't bothered looking on this particular thread for a wee while, and the plot is as uh, as thick and quicker than Little Lloyd in Thailand. I'm sure I said that before. Sorry for repeating that pun. Oh dear, roll the first pun. Um, so I just I I was just spent up maybe about 15 minutes last night just catching catching up on things, and there's there's a lot to catch up on. So first and foremost. Um, I mentioned uh, a while ago that uh, there was this film that Evans has been making, uh, or should I just call him R. Lloyd and Saviour, that Evans has been, or, or Little Lloyd, I've been making, mm, I've been making um, called The Truth About the Truth. And we saw him on this sort of doing this road trip with this guy called uh, Javier um, Ortiz, uh, sort of doing a road trip uh, in America. Uh, like a, a you know a, jo a jolly boy's day out as they were going to then go interview you know, survivors of child sex abuse within the um, the witnesses and obviously their parents and it was taking ages to bring this video out and I wonder what I'd, I'd actually come of it and then all of a sudden I think Lloyd mentioned it uh, it was still in the you know the editorial stages and I just thought well what's going to happen now especially that I think one person had put on a video that they although they'd written the disclaimer they actually wanted their, their portion of her and her daughter taken out of the video because of the you know because of Prozigate. Um However what's now happened is is that um, a statement has been released dated February the 24th so I'm a bit behind in this one but like I said I, I'm not bothered for a wee while but this is from uh, Javier Ortiz and uh, who's put himself down as the producer and somebody else. And it goes this way. Um, Dear collaborators and supporters of The Truth About The Truth Project, I write to inform you that I've asked Lloyd Evans to resign from his role as producer and writer on the TTATT uh, -T -T film documentary project. Mr. Evans' personal story will no longer be featured <laughs> in the final cut of the material. Wow, what, what? I'm not surprised on that one. And now to Lloyd's personal story. Yes, oh, there we go. Mr. Evans has de now this is the this is the saddest bit about this, uh, and this completely sums up Lloyd Evans. Mr. Evans has declined to resign voluntarily. And I'm anticipating there will be some legal actions against me and the rest of the producing team. So basically, um, if he'd done the decent thing, he would have known, you know, that the best thing for this project and the best thing for the the survivors he's interviewed is actually take him take himself out of all the production duties and you know anything. I I I I'm just do that, you know, you know, because it it shouldn't be about him. But because he wants wants it to ought to be about him, he hasn't done that. So um, Javier goes on to say, I arrived at this decision based solely on the admissions Mr. Evans made in his January live stream. At this time, I feel they cause a conflict of interest. Correct, given the very sensitive subjects we address in the film. Absolutely. Like I mentioned previously, it has been extremely important to me that our interview subjects felt dignified and respected in sharing their stories. I never wanted them to feel sensationalised or exploited in the process. They've shared their concerns. Obviously, they've then gone back to this guy, Harry, says they've shared their concerns and I've taken these actions to preserve their trust and respect. Since Mr. Evans' live stream, there have been questions about the project's finances. I'd like to reassure everyone that, as a non-profit and totally separate entity from any of Mr. Evans' business dealings or accounts, he's never had direct access to, the, to these funds. Well, that's a good thing, at least. All these funds raised during the project's crowdsourcing drive has been used for the film production, and all remaining funds are being used in the post-production process i.e. editing, colour correction, sound mixing, scoring, graphic storage, ETC, which is currently underway. In other words, none of the funds are being used for Little Lloyd 
mm, to get um, uh, serviced by prostitutes. March 2022 will mark five years since the first interviews for this project were filmed in, in Tucson, Arizona. Many of you have been looking forward to the final product. Some have shared their frustration with how long it has taken. Yeah, five years. To that, I'd like to say we are not back there, big studio production company or television networks. We are regular people with nine to five jobs to support our families, just like everyone else. We do this work in our free time and largely at our own expense. We're a small group of collaborators, mostly former Jehovah's Witnesses, who saw the intrinsic value in sharing these very personal stories with the world. My hopes are to inform the public of the truths that the Watchtower organisation would prefer to keep secret and bring everyone's critical eye to this harmful religion. There will certainly be more decisions made soon and I will share these with you as they are made. Thank you in advance for your patience. So there you go. I, I was wondering what was going to happen with this um, film and even you know, this guy, uh, Javi Ortiz, and there you go, is eventually he's realised that, you know, to get Lloyd Evans, um, you know, in, still involved in this project is just suicidal for the project. I, I'm just wondering, because I would have thought that you would hear Lloyd's voice in doing these people, so uh, are they going to overdub his questions? I certainly hope they do, because I'd hate to think that, you know, we're going to hear Lloyd actually asking, you know, well, questions to the, the survivors, and it's Lloyd Evans' voice that, you know, the, the, all of a sudden at that point you just go, well, I'm not listening to this crap. Um, so, needless to say, when that came out, um, the bold Lloyd um, on Twitter, because he still has his functional Twitter account, then goes to say, not gonna lie, this hurts. Have he used my platform to promote the project and secure funding? The filming is mostly done, and I was the main interviewer. Oh, yes, you were the main interviewer. Twat. I put years into it, uh, and just put a little bit into other things. I put years into it. What he's doing is little more than a token gesture to throw some meat, some meat to the mob. Total capitulation. Uh, it's bizarre. It's all about Lloyd. It's all about Lloyd Evans. Yet again, it's sad uh, he should have done the decent thing, but like Boris Johnson and other arseholes who just when when you know when there's you know there's so many things going on, it's all about them and they're rather more concerned about their own uh, uh, future and income, as in the case of Lloyd Evans, than you know the, the actual well-being of the people that he was supposed to represent. Now, during obviously that happened. That's factual, those are factual things, I can definitely say that, but now go on to the unfactual things. What came up, which also uh, Lloyd also tweeted and said this is complete bollocks, but anyway, on this um, Jehovah's Witness forum site, allegedly came up um, a, a bit of, I think it's a WhatsApp message between Lloyd's wife and somebody else. Apparently this is around about January time, this year, and apparently is during the, the time of line of events, apparently Lloyd may have been over in Thailand at the time, or just about to go. I don't know, I'm confused, I'm confused the whole timeline. But anyway, uh, the, the, somebody has done a, um, a translation in English, because I can't read, read uh, the Croatian words here, but it says, um, this is uh, his wife speaking, he says, I must remain silent or we will be destroyed. Um, I'm afraid for my children. He takes pills and threatens me. The response by this other person is, please let me help you come with the girls to my house. So obviously this is somebody in near, nearby where they live. Uh, his wife apparently then goes back to say he would take my phone. Uh, nasty person. Uh, the friend replies, let us help you. His wife allegedly replies, it's too late. The friend replies, please tell me, we'll think. Please tell me, you will think. Please tell me, you will think. That makes better sense, doesn't it? Um, and of course, Lloyd's actually tweeted this sort of screenshot and saying, it's all lies, it's all lies. So, you know, God's sake. So, you don't, again, you don't know who to believe here. And then, it, and then it's come down to this bizarre thing where Lloyd's, wife has set up a Twitter account and a, a new Twitter account, how many she got on the go here, and to verify it's actually her Twitter Twitter account, 
she apparently contacted Kim Silvio and had a conversation, I think it could, I don't know if it's on Messenger or whatever, and said, Kim, can you tweet that my <laughs> new Twitter account is really me and not one that, that's made up by somebody pretending to be me? And so then Kim, I believe, then had to then, you know, that she's like uh, stuck in, you know, in a, what a place that she's in place. She's definitely stuck in a, a, a Rock and Lloyd hard place. And so she then had to, I believe, then tweet um, just to just to state that the this this Twitter um, account is really the Twitter account of Lloyd's wife. Um, and then eventually got she got so fed up of being in the crossfire between these two, not knowing who was playing who, and felt that she was getting played. I think the last thing that she was saying that she was getting out of it, and she put like a last. Uh, uh, um, tweet from Kim Sylvia was a plane taking off basically saying I'm out of here because I think she's just fed up of, of being used and don't know who's using who. So there we have it, it's really really confusing and so we have obviously this um, this uh, sort of conversation which may or may not be true, Lloyd saying it isn't. We've got Lloyd's wife then setting up a Twitter account and want verification from somebody bizarre she's contacting the person who Evans and the the, the Lloyd cult followers have, have called uh, the Antichrist, really, or the anti-Lloyd, I should say, not Antichrist, the anti-Lloyd. And yet, yeah, bizarrely, she's reaching out to her to say, can you, can you just tweet that is this my account, that this is really is my Twitter account? It's just bizarre. And I, you know, I, I, I couldn't hold back a, a wee bit because Lloyd did um, tweet a picture of uh, Vladimir Putin and a long table. He's at one end because he's absolutely fit getting COVID. He's at one end of this table. The other end is all his financial advisors, all his advisors. And it's funny when you actually see the when you see the footage, you actually, it's as though they're right next to each other. But actually, if you actually see the photo, they're miles away from each other. And just to the left of Putin's, like some buttons and the bold Lloyd has put. Oh, I oh I I wonder what those buttons are for. And so I tweeted under that um, uh, there to alert. Um, the I, it, I think it was something like it was to alert the the Thai authorities that little Lloyd's in town. Anyway, uh, I wonder if I'm surprised I haven't been banned from commenting on on Lloyd's Twitter account because I, I did at one point do a load when I was particularly annoyed with him uh, recently, but I haven't done for a while. And then then the, the thing about Lloyd's wife, she's saying please don't believe all the things that are coming out. She's tweeting, but the, the end of the day is, is it really Lloyd's Lloyd? Uh, is actually, Lloyd's wife is actually typing these things, or is she <laughs> is she like given a bit of paper by little Lloyd and told this is what you I want you to put? You know you do not know what's going on or who or who's playing who at this point. What the end game is? What's really going on? And um, it's got very confusing to that to some points that this elusive Marco character. Uh, apparently somebody put in, which is why I put that little um, image I put up for, for this video, they've actually put on that perhaps all this leaking of information is actually really Lloyd's wife. That maybe Lloyd's wife is actually doing this, uh, this that she's up to something. Or maybe Lloyd's doing this. I don't know. It's, it's confusing. I, I don't know really know what to believe anymore. All I know is, is that apparently today... Um, we are supposed to expect the, the second coming of the Lloyd. Apparently he is due back today. He said he was back on the, um, the 1st of uh, March, that he was going to be the return of, uh, return of the Lloyd. And on one of my old videos, somebody put up a comment last night, somebody called Lisa Burberry. I don't think that's really a name. And very few people on YouTube use their real name for some reason, but Lisa Burberry put when I was in the so-called truth, there's too many faces around, so judgmental. And then she goes, don't, your, don't use Lloyd's name on your YouTube. Believe me, nobody listens to your channel. Well, the fact is she's just contradicted herself because she's listened to my channel and she's made a comment on it. But saying don't use Lloyd's name is very similar to don't use the Lord's name <laughs> in vain. Oh, so there we go. So anyway, so we can expect any time the return of our Lloyd and Saviour for his second coming. 
So anyway, um, that's it. I just thought I'd do that. It wasn't that, I'd, again, I wasn't going to do this video, but unfortunately, the I had to just, obviously, for those who haven't able to read these things, I thought I'd just do it to explain the real uh, statements of what's going on in relation to um, uh, the, the, the truth uh, about the truth film and also the thing, the speculation and the rather crazy dealings about uh, Lloyd's wife and Kim Selvio and the Twitter account. I must say that I did tweet uh, to her, I did put a response to something that his wife had put on and I did say all we need is from you is a video not taken in the bunker, not scripted by little Lloyd, and a, a just a video of you just saying, this is me, blah, blah, blah. It's got nothing to do with um, little Lloyd. And, um, and, and just, you know, just to just to quash everything that there was n nothing happened in England, that all this marker thing is not true, and um, that WhatsApp conversation, a lot of bollocks, and just for her to say that, um, that's what I. That's what my advice to her was. Just say it. You know, if, if her husband's got no problem doing that, why why can't she put her side of the story down instead of everybody else saying this is what she told me, this is the conversation I had with her. You know, blah blah. Instead of Kim Selvy wanting to say, you know, this is what the conversation we had. Why don't we have her to do it? And um, yeah, it, um, somehow I don't think it'll happen because I I've got a feeling that. Uh, Little Lloyd won't allow that to happen, so hey ho. But she's welcome to come onto my channel if she wants to reach out. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of the day while the world goes mad around us. You know, I just don't know what's going on. And it is extremely uh, getting more and more frightening, which Paul puts, puts the whole Little Lloyd um, uh, events into perspective, to be honest with you. But anyway, hey ho, we've got to have, uh, you've got to have some sort of something else to try and keep us from going mad. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. What a lovely t-shirt. Ooh, Fairport Convention. Lovely band.